Hey guys, um, it's cold outside here in Tapua West or Tabinyamin, the settlement where I live. Um, wind is uh, going and it feels like 30 miles an hour, shaking the house and it's about 38 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, just enough above freezing that uh, but it's not, not quite freezing but it feels like it's freezing. Um, and I want to show you guys how to make chestnuts. So chestnuts, um, I'm using this uh, wood burning stove I got here, which has a side compartment that you can use for um, you can use for cooking stuff. But you can make them in your oven or whatever. I have no idea how warm it is in there right now. I've left them in there for probably about a, an hour. I heard one of them making a popping noise. Here this is, this is my stove here, this is my handy survival uh, pot, and you just pull them out like this, here, you can see them hanging out in here, and uh, I'll show you all, Let's see, they're like this, they blacken a little bit on the side, this one isn't blackened but let's see if we can crack it open and get a chestnut out of there yeah so you can when it's cooked when it's roasted all the way you can feel it there it is and the crack you can feel the shell there's a bit of uh space between the shell and the actual nut which comes from the steam um coming off the nut and creating space i think and what you can see i've been just kind of rolling my hand and you can hear cracking Let's see. There we go. Oh, you see? That's the actual chestnut itself, and it's perfectly cooked. Um, what you gotta do before you put them in there is poke a little hole in the side of the shell, because otherwise, when that steam builds up, your chestnuts will start making exploding noises and actually blowing up, and you'll have uh, chestnut crumbs all over your cooking uh, area which is gross and um, difficult to clean up because then they burn on there. So if you poke a little hole in there, then the steam escapes and they shouldn't blow up. But you can leave one in there uh, at the bottom and uh, without a hole in it. And then when it blows up, you know, you'll know that the rest of them are probably ready or close to it. So anyway, cheers and uh, stay warm, I guess. Oh yeah, really good. What I forgot to mention is, um, sometimes you got to check them because sometimes they're wormy, and then you can see they're all. Uh, you crack them open, they're all black. You know, this one's a nice, healthy, uh, like yellowish color. But if you see them, that they're all black and don't look good or healthy or happy, just you know, don't eat those. Yeah, bye. Have a good week. Shabbat up.